Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about basic template library management and how to copy templates and components from one library to another. It's best to think of your standard template library as a seed file, and that's going to reside in a secure location, probably on a server somewhere. So when you start a project, you're going to make a copy for each project, and then any changes to standard components or templates created should be placed in a project folder within that project library. So let's take a look at how we can then manage templates and components between library files. All the work that we've done up to this point has been in our standard template library. What we want to do is copy some of these custom components that we've created into our project-specific template library. So to do that, we're going to use Tools and the Template Library Organizer. And that's going to pop up another dialog. And on the left side, you will see the current template library that we have open with the templates that we've created, the custom ones. And then next to it, in the right plane, you can see that we don't have any files open yet. So let's go ahead and open up a file, and I do that by clicking on the three dots here. And I'm going to pick the et template editing.itl file. This is the one that was delivered with the data set. And if I click this one open, you can see we're missing some components here. Specifically, I want to grab some curb and gutter. So I go over to my components curb, select the curb and gutter folder, and I'm going to left click or data point and hold and simply drag that entire folder over to the components folder in my destination project directory. I'm going to release the mouse button and that entire folder with all the components gets copied over in one go. I also know that I'm going to need some in conditions here. Specifically, I'm going to need a ditch and I'm going to take this ditch fill tight and tuck it up under my in conditions ditch in my project. You can see in the project library I don't have any ditches. So I'm going to select this single component and you'll notice you get a preview down here. So I'm going to select that single component, left click or data point and hold, and then drag that over to the ditch folder. And you'll notice how those folders pop up as you hover over them. Sometimes that can get a little confusing, but just take your time. Keep that mouse button held down until you're hovered over the directory where you want to put that new component and then release it. And now you can see under ditch, I have a, my new ditch component. One of the last things we want to do is copy over that custom template that we've created this two-lane urban right, and where I want to tuck that is underneath the project template folder. So I'm going to tuck that right there, and again I'm just going to hover over until I see the directory that I want, release the mouse button, and we're all set. So now we need to close the tool, the library organizer, click OK, and select Yes. Save that those changes that we've made. Then I'm going to come over to the File tab and open that library that we just edited. So I'm going to open up the template editing ITL file and verify that now under components we do indeed have curb and gutter. Under in condition ditch we do have our ditch fill tight and finally under our project templates we've got our custom component ready to go. To sum up you want to keep your standard template library in a secure location. Also, any templates created or editing during the project should be placed in a separate project folder underneath that library. Believe me, that's just going to help you later on find templates or components that have been used in that project. And finally, you can use the Template Library Organizer to manage templates across library files. If you find yourself copying a template from one project to multiples, you might want to consider adding that template to your standard library. And with that, I want to thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.